Acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis in dogs, a clinical challenge, acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis in dogs, also known as coonhound disease, is a neurological condition that can be frightening for pet owners and veterinarians alike. This disease, which affects the peripheral nervous system of dogs, can have a sudden onset and cause a variety of debilitating symptoms. In this post we talk about this condition, including its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment and long-term outlook for affected dogs, what is acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis. Acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis is a neurological disease that affects the peripheral nervous system of dogs. It is characterized by inflammation of the nerve roots and peripheral nerves, resulting in a variety of neuromuscular symptoms. This disease is also known as coonhound disease due to its higher incidence in dogs of coonhound breeds, such as the redbone coonhound, the black and tan coonhound, and the treeing walker coonhound. Causes of acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis, despite being a serious disease, the exact cause of acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis in dogs remains unknown. It is believed to be an autoimmune disease in which the dog's immune system mistakenly attacks its own peripheral nerves. This causes an inflammatory response that damages the nerves and impairs their function. Although a specific cause has not been identified, some potential risk factors have been noted, such as genetics and exposure to certain pathogens, symptoms of acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis, symptoms of acute idiopathic Idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis in dogs can vary in severity and duration, but often include ascending paralysis. One of the characteristic signs of this disease is ascending paralysis, which begins in the hind limbs and progresses forward. Affected dogs may have difficulty moving their hind legs, resulting in weakness or paralysis, swallowing difficulties. Swallowing may be affected, leading to problems eating and drinking. Voice changes. Some dogs develop a hoarse or weak voice due to weakness of the laryngeal muscles. Pain and tenderness. Dogs may show signs of pain, such as whining or crying, when touched or handled in certain areas of the body, urinary and fecal incontinence. Muscle weakness can lead to loss of bladder and bowel control, lethargy and generalized weakness. Affected dogs often show a lack of energy and a general feeling of weakness. Importantly, the progression of symptoms can be rapid and peak within a few days. Diagnosis of acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis Diagnosing acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis in dogs can be challenging due to the variety of symptoms and the need to rule out other neurological diseases. The diagnostic process typically includes medical history. The veterinarian will collect information about the symptoms, the pet's history, and any exposure to known risk factors. Physical examination. A complete physical examination will be performed to evaluate neuromuscular function and look for signs of weakness or paralysis, blood and urine tests. These tests can help rule out other diseases that may have similar symptoms. Electromyography, EMG, and nerve conduction velocity. Electrical studies of nerves and muscles can provide information about nerve function. Lumbar puncture. In some cases, a lumbar puncture may be performed to test the cerebrospinal fluid for signs of inflammation. Nerve biopsy. In severe cases or where definitive confirmation is needed, a biopsy of an affected nerve may be performed. Once the diagnosis has been made, the veterinarian will be able to determine the best treatment approach for the affected dog. Treatment of acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis. Treatment of acute idiopathic polyradiculoneuritis focuses on reducing inflammation and supporting the dog's nervous system. Treatment options may include corticosteroid therapy. Corticosteroids, such as prednisone, are commonly used to reduce inflammation and suppress abnormal immune response. Intravenous immunoglobulin, IVIG in some cases, IVIG may be administered to modulate the immune response. Physical therapy. Physical therapy and assisted exercise can be beneficial in helping the dog regain muscle strength and coordination.
Nutrition and Supportive Care It is important to maintain adequate nutrition and provide supportive care, such as fluid administration and bladder and bowel control in case of incontinence, pain management, analgesics may be administered to relieve pain associated with the disease, treatment may be necessary for weeks or even months, depending on the severity of the disease and how the dog responds to treatment. Regular follow-up with the veterinarian is essential to evaluate disease progression and adjust treatment as necessary. Long-term perspectives, we are talking about a disease that can be serious and debilitating for affected dogs. However, many pets can experience a gradual recovery with proper treatment. Recovery may be slow, and some dogs may experience permanent neurological sequelae, such as residual weakness or coordination problems. It is important to provide ongoing care and support to these dogs to improve their quality of life. Intervertebral disc degeneration in dogs is a condition that affects the discs found between the vertebrae of the spine. These discs act as natural shock absorbers, allowing the spine to move and flex properly. Conclusions Despite the facts mentioned about this disease, With early diagnosis and proper treatment, many dogs can recover and lead happy, healthy lives. If you suspect your dog might be showing signs of this disease, it is crucial to seek veterinary care immediately to increase the chances of a successful recovery. When these discs degenerate, they lose their elasticity and can become compressed or even rupture, cause Thank you so much for watching the video. For more information subscribe to my dog solution channel and click on the bell icon.